there, it's Roseanne from Country Chic Paint. In this video, I want to show you the basics of applying our chalk-based paint to a piece of furniture. I promise painting furniture is easy, so stay tuned. Before we dive in, if you want to know more about preparing your piece of furniture before you paint it, make sure to check out our other videos on our channel. For this video, we're going to be using a few different supplies. We're going to be using the Country Chic paint brushes. These are fabulous synthetic bristle brushes that were developed specifically to be used with our paint. You do not really want to use a, one of these natural bristle brushes because they will leave a more textured finish on your piece. So if you're going for texture, then that's a great brush to use. But if you want a smooth surface, then you want to use the Country Paint brushes. So this is what we'll be using for this video. Then we're going to be using our chalk base paint. We'll be using vintage cupcake as well as lazy linen. Our paint is environmentally friendly with low VOCs and it's very safe to use indoors. It barely has a smell to it and super easy to work with. Before we start painting and before we open up the can, we want to make sure that we shake the can really well just to make sure that all contents are mixed well together. The contents of the paint separate, so it's very important that you make sure that everything is well mixed together before you start painting. So you just want to give it a really good shake, I would say a minute or so, and then we can open it up and then we still want to stir it for another two minutes, just to make sure that it's all blended well together. Instead of painting straight out of your can, what I would recommend is taking a small jar or plastic cup or a mason jar and pouring some of the paint off in that. Because if you have your paintbrush and you dip it right into your can and maybe there's something on your paintbrush or there's water on it or a different color paint, then you're contaminating your entire can of paint. That's why it's always better to just pour some off and use that instead. Let me show you how to hold your paintbrush as well. You want to hold it right on the ferrule, which is the steel part, and you're kind of holding it like a pencil. So you have your thumb on one side and your other fingers on the other side. This gives you the best control of your brush. Now we're ready to start painting. For this chair, I'm going to use Lazy Linen as my base coat and I'm gonna dip my brush in. As you can see, I'm covering about halfway up the bristles. You wanna make sure that you have a decent amount of paint on it, but you also don't want to have it so full that it's gonna drip right off. So I'm actually gonna start by painting the bottom. To get a smooth finish, you want to make sure that your paint strokes go in one direction on your piece. Don't go crosswise, otherwise you might end up with a lot of texture in your finish. Another important thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to paint over sections that have started to dry already. If you see you've missed a spot, you can just go back later and add a second coat. Don't try to fix it after it's partially dry. Before applying a second coat, you want to make sure that your first coat is fully dried. Normally, you can paint a second coat after about 30 minutes. However, keep in mind that the climate you're working in has a big influence on how quickly your paint dries. If it is very warm, your paint will dry more quickly. If the humidity is high, the paint might take a long time to dry. Always avoid painting in direct sunlight or when the humidity is higher than 80%. In average circumstances, it takes only about 15 to 20 minutes for your paint coat to dry. But before putting on a second coat, you'll want to wait at least 30 to 60 minutes. Again, if it's very cold or very humid, or if you've put on a very thick paint coat, you'll notice that you'll need to wait longer. Okay, so now that our paint has had a chance to dry, 
I'm going to give it a second coat, but because I want to give it a two layer distressed look, I'm going to pick a different color. And this is the color we're going to be using. It's called Vintage Cupcake. And it's a very pretty pink, as you can see. So I'll pour some off in this can, in this little jar. In an upcoming video, I'm going to show you how to wet distress this chair and how to antique it with dark wax. So make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get updates when our new videos are available. If you want to find out more about Country Chic Paint, you can visit our website on countrychicpaint.com or simply click on the link below. Thank you so much for watching.